I want to show you how to build a trailing stop order in Market Delta Cloud using the Atom functionality. So by default, Atoms are off this automated order management strategies. And you can go in and create a new one or edit them by clicking Add Edit or just click your initials and choose Settings. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Let's click Add. And I want to call it, I'm just going to call it Trail. We're just going to do a single leg, so just one leg is on. We're going to do a quantity of one, and we want both our profit target turned on and stop loss. So essentially, this creates a bracket order because of that. Um, make a profit target um, three ticks. Keep this real tight. And right here is where we set it to be trailing stop. So there's different stop order strategies. Stop market. This is default. There's trailing stop, and then there's don't trigger stop and don't trigger trailing stop. This video is on trailing stops, so let's choose TSTP. And our stop order now will go in six ticks. I'll set it to five. So our trailing stop is going to go in five ticks from our entry price. And then as the market moves in our favor, this order, our, our trailing stop, will automatically begin to ratchet up uh, and trail the market. Now, trail is based on a proprietary algorithm that looks at the bid, the bid price, the ask price, and the last traded price, and will trail the market five ticks. Sometimes it'll move a little bit closer, but it it's, uses that proprietary logic to maintain a five tick trail. And uh, that's it. So. This is automatically saved as I set them. Uh, there's no need to hit or click hide, but I'll, I will. Um, but I just want you to realize that. And then when you go back to my account and you select the strategy, either here or on the trade ticket, we're going to do all our trading from the dome. I'm going to choose trail. And now when I initiate orders, it will use that trailing stop uh, functionality. So let's go ahead and uh, just. Uh, bought the market and looks like I might get taken out here real quick let's buy another one so what I want you to see if the market begins to move in our favor you'll see these trailing stops begin to ratchet up okay see this one just moved went from here to here so as it moves in our favor the idea of a trailing stop is it's locking in profits so here if it trades if it takes us out here we're going to it's going to cancel one of these. No, no, it didn't. But the idea here, guys, notice trailing stops kind of lock in profits as you go. So right now, the most we would lose is three ticks instead of that five or six ticks where we started out. So let's let this work a minute. And you'll get a full picture of how these things function in a real market. So we got filled on one. It canceled the, the canceled the one trailing stop. Notice it just tightened it up too. So the most we lose is one tick on a one line. So it's pretty slick functionality. You can always flatten out if you need to, or you can go down into the working orders tabs. So let's say I want to move this. I want to modify the 06 maybe down. Oh, I'm stopped out, so I'm flat. So that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this functionality. If you have any questions, reach out to us, support at marketdelta.com.